I created a program to determine the best Pokeball for each Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But can't you just use your app? As usual, not wasting your time. Here's what the old spreadsheet with all the info you need looks like. How do I even use this thing? Excellent question. I'm just joking, I wouldn't leave you hanging. The first tab is sorta of like a database. It's more for if you want to scroll through what the program thought was the best Pokeball for each Pokemon. I also included a column for my opinion too, in case you're interested in that human flavor. Probably what's more useful to you, my fellow ball enthusiasts, is the second tab. You can type the name of a Pokemon and check off if it's shiny or not, and it'll tell you the program and my pick for the best Pokeball for that Pokemon, including any alternate forms it may have. Also for your convenience, for Pokemon that normally have dashes or spaces in their name, just don't include the dashes or spaces in the search bar and you'll be good. Of course, to use the search thing, you gotta make a copy of the sheet first, but keep in mind that the game is still pretty fresh, so I plan to update the spreadsheet every now and then with any new Pokemon they introduce. When that happens, you just gotta make another copy, or copy the updated file into your own. Alright, cool. You can leave now. Okay, now that the nerds and true believers are here, let me show you my process and just how janky this code is. I started off by dragging and dropping photos of the Pokeballs available in the game into a folder. I decided to omit Beast Balls and Master Balls, since not everyone has the duping legendary and I want to be mindful of that. Then I went, there's no way in hell I'm going to be downloading like a thousand images of Pokemon by hand for three hours, so instead I spent like five hours writing a code to do it for me. Now that all the images were in their nice little folders, I took color averages and dominant colors of the balls, normal Pokemon, and shiny Pokemon with a weird combination of the Python imaging library, scikit image, and color thief. You know, in hindsight, I'm not really sure why I didn't just shove this all into one pro- Oh no, you're telling me I need to have the dex numbers and names so my spreadsheet looks nicer. Ha 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 ha. So I have things to scrape those. Then to bring it all together, I made my comparison between the color data of the Pokemon and the color data of the balls. It first narrows down the options to ones that share a dominant color, and then finds the closest match based on color average. Do a little formatting from the file it outputs so it looks all snazzy in Google Sheets. And there you go, we're back where we started in this video.